At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So, other than crested geckos, what do you think the most popular well-known lizard here in New Caledonia is? Of course it's lychees, and every different island that makes up the archipelago of New Caledonia has their own lychee populations, and each of them have their own colors and their own patterns, so come with me and let's go island hopping here in New Caledonia and try to find as many awesome lychees as we can possibly find. This is gonna rule. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles, and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. So before we left the Isle of Pines, we had to get tribal permission to visit the outlying islands. And after we explained to the chief what it was that we wanted to do out on the islands, he not only gave us permission to go there, but he took us there himself. The first island we explored was Isle Bross, and after we unloaded the boat and got situated at camp, we ventured deep into the island, and it didn't take us long to find what we were looking for. This is what the lychees look like on Isle Bross, and for us lychee enthusiasts, this is also known as Isle D. And for all the insular lychees, these are some of the biggest on this island. And this guy is not even close to full grown, but they are some of the most beautiful lychees on this island. I know I'm gonna say that about every lychee on every island we visit, but look at their belly. They have a little bit of yellow coloring to their belly, but look at the bars on him. They're made up of all these little individual white spots. This is just one Gorgeous Lichianus. So Lichianus geckos not only have the sticky toe pads that other geckos have, but they have little hooks on each one of their fingers and there's a kind of a superstition amongst the Kanak people, which are the indigenous people here in New Caledonia, that if a Lichianus grabs onto you and sticks those hooks into you and you rip it off of you, it actually rips your soul right from your body. So still to this day, there's a number of indigenous people here in New Caledonia that are actually afraid of these geckos. You know, this Lichianus would cost probably upwards towards $1,000. But you know what I'm gonna do with him? I'm gonna put him right back on the tree where I found him. Because really, there's enough of these being captively bred so that there never needs to be a reason for somebody to come here and take these out of the wild again. <laughs> So this guy just took a dump here and these are seeds. We're not sure exactly what kind of seeds they are, but here in March, which is autumn here, they're eating fruits. And there's no evidence in its dump here that it's eating insect matter. This is all fruit matter. <laughs>
So here on Moro, which is Isle E for all you lychee enthusiasts, this is what the lychees look like here in the wild. Now he's not very flamed right now, but he does have that peach purple sides, or he did last night when we found him. But these geckos very rarely reach over a foot long. They're one of the smaller locality morphs of lychees. Note the squared off snout and the predominant ridge from the eye to the nose, which is one of the diagnostic features of lychees from here on Moro. <laughs> So last night as we were walking around the jungle looking for these guys, I never bring my expensive camera equipment out with me because it's all rocky sharp coral with these pitfalls and there's all these vines and if I fall or catch my camera on a vine, it's all over. So I never take my equipment out, woo, I never take my equipment out when I'm looking for these guys at night. But. As we were looking around for these guys last night, we found something absolutely incredible. And so I pulled out my phone and filmed, and I really think that this is the first time in history that this kind of behavior was documented in the wild. Check this out. All right, so we just came upon this male sitting right in this bush, just directly off the ground, which is very uncommon for lychees. But even with us standing around him, he's just sitting there. We couldn't figure out why until three feet later we found this. This could be the first documented lychee nest. And it's the males that are standing here guarding it. And there they are, just laid right on the ground. There's no substrate that they're using, it's just directly on the ground in moist leaves, right under a rock here. No vermiculite. <laughs> just right out on the ground. Bugs crawling all over them, doesn't even bother them. They're, they haven't split yet, so these have just been laid pretty recently. There's no humus on it or yeah, humus stain. No, but I, I was going to say that it's, for me, almost ready to hatch. No, oh. they, they, the egg will split with ridges it, yeah, so before it hatches. These are, these are fresh laid <laughs> eggs. That is just phenomenal. So we've been sitting here filming for a couple of minutes now. There's the nest right there. There's the lychee. We're all standing around taking photos. This male is still vigilantly standing guard over that nest with five potential predators standing around him. <laughs> he hasn't budged. Yeah, he was, yeah. It's really unusual to I have I mean, this. I pointed that one out and I never looked for anything. How, any how long, how, what's the distance from here Wait, to that tree? Yeah, where, where was the male? The male, oh, right. hi. <laughs> Uh, can I help you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, okay. He's <laughs> Look at this guy. He just went right watch up to my foot. Watch how he really reacts to the sheer world. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, 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 look, look, look. Uh, bye. Have, have a nice day. But he, he stood right up. I mean, he was going to pounce. He, he reacts. Yeah, he reacted. So the male is here in this bush. And less than three feet away is the nest being guarded by a male and the female is nowhere to be found around here. This seriously could be the first time that this has ever been documented in the wild. So what do you guys think? I think we just documented that the males, at least here on Moro, are the ones who are guarding the eggs. Again, I don't think that's ever been documented in the wild, but for right now, we are going to let this guy go exactly where we found him. Woo! And he is ready to go right now. So look at the trees here on Moro. Even though each one of these islands is close together, each one has its own ecosystem with its own different flora and fauna. It's just bizarre. I've never seen anything like this before. But here on Moro, look at these trees. They're vertical and they're horizontal and they twist and they turn and they go all different directions. So if you're keeping lychees from this locale, 
and you're keeping them in a vertical display, that's all right. But also, you might want to try a horizontal display because what the lychees are doing is they're hanging out on the horizontal branches more than we're seeing them on the vertical branches. So just kind of food for thought. I think it's a big mistake that we're keeping lychees in the exact same way despite what locale they're coming from. Each locale here in New Caledonia is very different from the other ones. Well, Rattlers, I hope you learned a little bit more about keeping lychees based on what me and my group here has discovered on these islands. Seeing lychees in the wild is one of the most incredible moments of my life. Just getting out into the field on a dream destination here in New Caledonia and seeing animals that are so popular in domestic situations and how they're getting along out here in the wild and what tips and tricks we can learn simply by watching what they're doing out here on the islands of New Caledonia. So Rattlers, leave a comment below and give a tip on how you guys are keeping lychees so that other people that are watching this video can learn from you as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video. So until the next adventure here in New Caledonia, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. <laughs>